Welcome to 99 Ways to Make Your Computer Faster. I am Jeff with Rogue 7 Tech Support. Today we're going to be talking about Vista Ready Boost. What is it? Let's take a look. So using Vista Ready Boost through one of these compatible USB devices or other mass storage devices uh, will allow Windows to read all of the random disk reads through Ready Boost up to 80 times to 100 times faster than it would without it. So what does this apply to? It applies to all of your random disk reads, not just your virtual paging size or your random DLLs. So in layman's terms, this will allow your computer to focus on something more pertinent while letting the random disk reads go through your USB device. So let's take a look at how to set this up on one of these USB devices. Alright, so I've just plugged my USB device into my computer. I'm going to go locate it. Here it is. Yours may be a different drive letter. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear out anything that I've had in here. So to do that we're going to right click it and go to Format click where it says allocation unit size and select default allocation size. This can either be FAT32 or NTFS. I prefer FAT32 because it usually runs a bit quicker that way. And then I select quick, quick format and start. It will warn you that formatting will erase everything on the disk. So I press OK. And right, format is complete. Close it. Just check, make sure everything's empty. All right. Now to use this in Windows Ready Boost, you're going to right click, go to Properties, okay, and then you'll have a Ready Boost tab. Now there will be two options, do not use this device and use this device. We are going to use this device and you can uh, set the space reserved for system speed uh, all the way up or to default speed. Windows will recommend how much you should use. So this one is recommending that I use 1800 megabytes. So click apply and then OK and it's all set for Ready Boost. If you open it up you'll see that it's already caching and everything. So now if you want to remove this you can't simply go in here and delete it. It won't it won't go anywhere. It will just give you this access denied. So you'll go back right click this again go back into properties go to the ready boost tab and select do not use this device and then click apply again click OK open it up and everything will be empty to ensure that nothing is left on this you may want to just format it again so that's how you set up Windows ready boost and remove it if you have any questions just please leave them below in a comment thank you for watching for any requests uh, leave me a message on YouTube or leave a comment below. If you like my video, please rate and subscribe. Till next time, this is Jeff, Rogue7 Tech Support, bidding you farewell.